what's up mga kilayaries? Hello Cebu, hello Philippines, and hello world! Kamusta ka mula guys? So this is a continuation of our previous vlog wherein last time nag-agi kita sa ilalom sa... What do you call that? Uh, the longest tunnel or subway in the Philippines, ang Cebu South Road uh, subway. And then, gipakita na ko sa inyo ha ang updates on the third bridge linking mainland Cebu and Mactan Island. And also, you had a glimpse of the uh, SMCP Seaside Cebu and the upcoming project of the South Coast City. So now, uh, continue kita sa atong joyride and we just uh, made a U-turn under the bridge. Actually, that bridge is, I think that's the boundary of Talisay City and Cebu City. And by the way, abangan ninyo guys sa mga future vlogs na to. I-feature po na to ang Talisay City and ang Tabunok. So now, mga kidayaris, nag-agi na kita sa Il Corso Mall. This is a 10 hectare resort-like lifestyle mall diri sa Cebu City. And ang atbang niya is the City de Mari. This is part of the 42 hectare property and developed by Phil Invest. So, abangan ninyo guys, next time we're gonna do a separate vlog featuring the El Carso Mall. And by the way, let me introduce myself to you, to those who don't know me yet. My name is Renji, ang inyong driver o sahay or panagsa, and ang inyong tour guide sa atong joyride every day. And welcome back to our channel guys. This is Rain Diaries, ang inyohang good vibes ng joyride and road trip channel. And now, nakita sa Cebu South Coastal Road, and ang makita ninyo nga under construction to our right is the 25 billion pesos Isla de la Victoria project by the JG Summit of the Gokong Ways. It is an 8 hectare mixed use development featuring a resort, hotel, casino and some BPO components and because this is of the Gokong Ways maybe we can expect another Robinsons here in the future. I'm just guessing guys. And by the way the construction is on the Kawit, former Kawit Island which is a now part of the SRP or the South Road properties. Guys, ang dagat nga naa sa atong right is the Cebu Strait, ang body of water that separates the island of Cebu and Bohol. And by the way, makita ninyo guys, oh, ang third bridge or ang the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway. So grabe no, this will be an icon of Cebu once nga matapos na ni siya. And this one is another icon of Cebu, the Cebu I'm sorry, the SMCT Seaside Cebu with its unique design. No? Nga mura siyag barko. Actually, kung gabi eh, guys, no? nga mag travel ka diri. It's mura gina siyag barko tan awon. And there's the iconic cube of SM Seaside City Cebu. So now, continue lang kita guys sa atong joyride. And uh, we're almost there sa SRT Viaduct. By the way guys, before I forget, mag greetings kita na, mag shout out kita. So without further ado, shout out to Ma'am uh, Riza Balbontin Sarosa of Victoria City. She's the wife of Sir Michael Sarosa. And also, we would like to say hi and shout out to Jay Resi TV of Taiwan. And to Simply Noe and also to Sir Rufino Huday of Cebu, nga naakaron sa Riyadh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And also, shout out to Sir Rogelio Rogs Tumangkas of Lahug. And to uh, Miss Julianne Abayon of Singapore. And also, shout out to Ma'am Inday and Sir Bonnie Gasso of Dumaguete City, Negros Oriental. And to my schoolmate in high school, to Leaf Gary Balboa of Arizona, USA. And lastly, we would like to say hi and happy viewing to Ma'am Juliet Lisbo of Jacksonville, Florida, USA. And to Team Far East Aquatech of Dumaguete City, Negros Oriental. So guys and mga kadayaris, thank you so much for always watching our vlog and for subscribing to our channel. Keep commenting lang guys ha! Don't hesitate to comment your name and your location para ma-shoutout mo na mo in our future vlogs. And now guys, as you can see, we're passing through the SRP Viaduct. And ang makita ninyo left and right is the entrance and exit ramp of the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway and look at it guys isn't it beautiful and lovely it's so tall and massive from where we are right now 
and this will be another icon once completed and another tourist attraction here in the Queen City of the South. So as I said in the previous vlog, this has a budget of 27 billion pesos under the Build 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 initiative of the Duterte administration. And getting a project is soon done in the year 2017 and expected to mahumani siya guys by the year 2022. So tarawan ninyo guys, grabe. It's really so massive. I don't know kung maklaro ba ninyo sa camera na to or sa atong video. But uh, in person, grabe kayo niya guys. Uh, as in, lag po kayo niya ang mga haligi. O tanawa lang ninyo. And it spans all the way to uh, Cordova Town in Mactan Island. So maybe next time, we will visit the other end dito sa Pika sa Cordova. And now guys, we're back and approaching na kita sa city center of Cebu and in our previous vlog, gila kita nag-agi o oh, sa my Cebu SRP tunnel. But now, diri kita sa babaw mo agi because we're going to, uh, what you call it, the Malacanang sa Subbu. And I'm going to show you guys the Plaza Independence. No? And makita ninyo sa right side is Dagat and makita ang Kokalyo that is the Pier uh, 1, a Pier Uno of the Cebu port and by the way guys so for those of you who are not still subscribed to our channel pag subscribe na mo guys ha pindutan na na ninyo ang red button o yan sa pinipaabot ninyo guys uh, pag subscribe na mo guys ha and don't forget to click also the notification bell para always mo updated if not yung mga bago nga mga video ipagawas in the future and now muli ko nakita diri sa Plaza Independencia and this one is the Malacanang sa Subbo and by the way mention ko lang na no, if you're coming from Bacolod nagsakay kag Ceres so maoni nga area ang pinaka last na bus stop ang next na bus stop niya is dito na sa my north terminal so, if you're planning in going here in Cebu and nagsa kailang kag from Bacolod, diri na lang mo pa nao guys para diri so na mula agiri sa Plaza Independencia. By the way guys, naba mo dira? Ga-enjoy ba mo sa atong joyride today? Please comment below ha if ga-enjoy mo sa atong joyride and paglaag ka na dawa. And now, na nakita diri sa sulod sa Plaza Independencia and this one is the Fort San Pedro or Fuerte San Pedro. I think this is during the Spanish time, 17th century yata nin siya natukot. And we're going to make another vlog lang guys ha. Abangan ninyo uh, sa mga future vlogs na to. We're going to feature ma sulit-sulit kita diri sa sulod sa Plaza Independencia. And also sa Fort San Pedro. Ilaab ko ka mo dinat na sa sulod. But for now, uh, mulabay lang ta guys. Is because napamilain at tuan ka lang hadlawa. So as in general, drag yun yung atong vlog today. By the way guys, if napalipay ka and napasmile ka sa ating vlog today, please do give us a thumbs up para ma-boost po ng atong video. And also, please share this video to others para mas taghan pa yun guys makakita sa atong mga vlog. Diba? Sharing is caring, no? So now guys, nikagawas na kita sa Plaza Independencia. And now, we're heading to... I don't know kung asa mi dalon sa mga ligid sa atong sakyan na, no? So, I guess ako to bili na lang atong vlog for today, guys. No? By the way, watch out for our other vlogs in the future, ha? And please do check out our other vlogs, uh, mga previous na to, nga mga videos. Naala na dira, guys, sa playlist. I-search lang nyo, i-browse lang nyo, guys, ha? Dagan po kita mga videos dira. Dikan sa Bacolod, sa Negros, and soon to be sa Dumaguete. Featured po na to ang Dumaguete and Negros the rest of Negros Oriental. So, uban giha punta guys ha sa atong pag ride and pag laag laag sa Visayas and hopefully the rest of the Philippines once COVID is gone. So guys, dili na lang dito ito bang atong vlog for today. We hope na nag-enjoy mo sa atong joyride and pag suray-suray dito sa SRP and all the way to the Plaza Independencia. Bisag nag-agi lang ta guys, no? But we hope na nakahatag po ng mga updates sa inyo, ha? And uh, di ka diri sa subo, amping mo kanunay, kanunay! <laughs> And always keep that positive outlook and mindset. God bless you all, guys. And bye for now, mga kidiaries.